and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, hundreds of bills passed the governor's desk in the final hours of the session, and uh, many of them were passed. A few of them we're going to talk about right now with our next guest who sponsored these bills, Senator Gloria Negrete McLeod. Thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. Uh, one of them had to do with funeral homes and making pricing available on the internet for customers. Well, this provides that if you ha if a funeral home has a website, then they must also provide uh, pricing. And they can do it either by mail, by facsimile, or electronic mail. Uh, if you do not have a website, you do not have to do that. By law, if you yourself would to call a funeral home and say, what is your price list, then they have to mail it to you. But this provides that if you have a website, then you have to provide that information. If you don't, then you don't, then you just follow the letter of the law. Why would there be resistance to this? I don't know. Um, probably because perhaps a funeral home thought that if everybody had their prices, then people would be shopping around rather than giving that personal touch when someone passes away. Well, it would give a little more convenience for a family at a time when um, time is of the essence, too, because they're trying to provide the services. Well, we thought it services. was a good consumer bill, and, and fortunately, the governor did sign it. Okay. Another one of your bills would make some conforming changes to existing law, considering the uh, uh, licenses for professional careers, such as uh, therapists, marriage and family counselors. Well, currently what happens is that California stands alone on many different professions and has its own tests. And yet the rest of the states across nationwide have a national test that they conform to. So we're just going to now conform to the national test, and that allows reciprocity across states, a portability, so that people can carry their licenses to another state. Because then California is not the only one that's doing A, and everybody else is doing B. Mm -hmm. That's just all that a little that clarity does. and uniformity mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, another would increase the amount of education that a CPA would require. Tell us about that. Well, uh, you know, after the Enron debacle, people thought that uh, accountants uh, should have more ethic trainings, and accountants themselves were the sponsors of this bill. I was the author, but they were the sponsors. They wanted more ethics training, and we said from 120 hours to 150. Then lo and behold, we found out that many of the universities don't have enough classes to give 150 hours of ethics training. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll increase incrementally, but right now it's up to, it'll go from 120 to 150, provided the universities can then fulfill that requirement. Okay, but uh, you saw a need to increase ethics Well, not, not only myself, but the, the accountants themselves, they were the sponsor of the bill. They That's interesting because you have to wonder if ethics can be taught. Well, I don't think we're going to make an ethical person unethical, nor an unethical person ethical. I think it's kind of in your genes, in your DNA, because there are people that are ethical irrespective of what happens. Another one of your bills um, has to do with making life a little easier for kids who grew up in the foster system. Tell us about that. Well, the, I carried a bill that uh, allows to, to make sure that schools accept credits for uh, foster youth that then move from home to home at different times. Often when what was happening is, is they moved to a, a, a home, their transcripts did not follow them, then they said you have to take X class again and maybe again and maybe again. So this ensures that their transfer follows them and their credits follow them so they can graduate at their grade level. Yeah, just making their life a little easier. Yes, and, uh, yes. A lot of common sense bills. Thank you very much for being You're here, welcome. Senator Gloria. Uh, and thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN right after this.